missing the joke for irony. <laughs> Um, so, de thanks, Doug. So, decommodification. So, if you receive a gift and you expect something in return for that gift, so if you give somebody a gift and you expect something in return, that is barter, and that means that that gift isn't a gift. You commodified it, and now it's a commodity. It's got a value, and you're expecting something in return for that value. So, if you give somebody a, uh, I don't know, a pair of shoes. And they say thank you and they put them on and they enjoy them. And then your birthday comes around and they don't give you a gift and you're upset because you gave them one. You actually added a value to that gift you gave them originally. And now you have an expectation of something in return. You commodified it. So that's a form of decommodification in its like internal core to the soul level. So that's why with BRCVR, all the different worlds and the artists, you might see a credit, like an artist credit that they created it. So you know they created it, but not the logo and not some corporate presented by Coca-Cola or even presented by Altspace. I will say Altspace did look at the possibility of removing their logos out of the loading screen in between the worlds. They really tried to create decommodification, but the programming it would have taken to actually do that was super complicated in four months, oh and it was a trade-off. Their team was developing a Mac client. And that same team was the team that was going to have to change the platform to remove their, their logo from it. So we decided radical inclusivity was more important than the decommodification. And because they were giving this grand gift of the platform being available for free to this event and the gift of the Mac client, we decided that it was OK. And most of what is on those load screens are tips for functionality for you to have a better VR experience. So it was a trade-off. It was a decommodification trade-off. But you don't see Microsoft's logo all over the place, and we're on their servers. So that as well is a gift for all of us. So that's decommodification. Oh um, and decommodification is all is just don't add false just value. Don't add false value. Ah, someone ah, entered the, someone space, entered the space, space and is on a desktop. If you can please put on a headset or mute yourself. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So now we have radical self-reliance. Now, radical self-reliance means you can take care of yourself. And therefore, when the uh, point of communal effort or civic responsibility or um, uh, participation or immediacy comes up, you actually have the resources to jump in and help when you can. Because if you were radically self-reliant, someone would have to take care of you. So radical self-reliance means burning men encourage the individual to discover, exercise, and rely on his or her inner resources. Now, in BRCVR, we made radical self-reliance an important, an important principle for us. Greg Edwards created a toolkit, and that toolkit is... is uh, uh, you can take it into a free program called Blender, and it's it, this whole camp was built with the toolkit. Tents, rugs, hoofs, banners, RVs, speakers, bars, uh, Playa Tech furniture, fire barrel, all of this stuff. Everything you see is part of the kit. So you can download the kit for free. You do ask for a donation but it is free. You can download the kit, you can bring it into Blender, you can build your own world and upload it into Altspace. And so that is how we are helping you become more radically self-reliant within this space. Now, within your default world, within your physical world, radical self-reliance means that you can uh, provide yourself a home, you can uh, uh, you know, hopefully have a job, um, when you go to an event like Burning Man or a regional event, you bring everything you need, your food, your water, where you're going to live, your tent structure, your activity that you're going to share with the community. All of that 
is part of radical self-reliance. And when you're radically self-reliant, you also have a place in your heart of calm. You, you, you sit in this place of calm because you know that you got your shit. You got it. You can take care of it. Now, that doesn't mean that it's 24-7, 365 days a year. We all need a little help from our community. But if we're most of the time radically self-reliant, then we can all excel as a human being. So what are some other examples of radical self-reliance? Anybody? I'll just keep going. Awesome. I have one to say. Oh, yes, Alicia. Um, you should be radically self-reliant for your own personal vibration and mood. It's up to you. And not allow yeah. someone to take that from you. Good. So. I like that one. You should be radically self-reliant for your own, own emotional state. Uh-oh, I think Athena froze. No. What is, this? <laughs> what is this about? I think it's about uh, maybe ten principles or radical self-reliance at least. Ten principles. Oh, what do we do? Ten principles, yeah. <laughs> we can become it's radically self-reliant. I think right, we have to become radically right self-reliant. Right <laughs> okay. Uh, so the next principle. She will be right back. She'll be right Participation. back. Participation. Burning Man. <laughs> Burning Man. Yeah. She was starting Shall we to participate? have a little bit. Uh, there was yeah. a little bit of her, um, her audio was getting a little choppy, so I think yeah. she's going to be back. She's actually in Mexico, so. Or burning man. Mm. If you want to see about it, but burning if man you burn a man, it's made festival of this. What? Let's <laughs> go uh, check it out. And I think the more populated the room became, the more she choppy is, she got, uh, so like, uh, it might be our... Yeah, she I heard like 20 energy. people is like... The number, like the good. max, a good max number, which is pretty low. No, she's Oops. just talking. Just talking. Mm -hmm. Who are you? There are um, instances, or uh, there's things called front row, so where like, people uh, can come in in different instances, but you might not see them. But they're like, they're here on another something, right? Um, another group um i'm not sure what that and is. so that's how like they can fit more people in a space so you could get separated from your friends um by them being in another instance and you don't see them but if you click the emojis you will see their emojis go off but you won't see them so that's a tip for if, if something's really crowded like an event where there's a dj or something mm -hmm. you would probably want to um, find out if your friends came into the same instance that you did can, like portal in with people. them or yeah you can message them and they can say well i'm here i'm just being uh I'm, you just can't see me so it's it's like true quantum <laughs> physics here <laughs> like, uh, the holographic universe okay. and someone let's try to figure out who has their pc without like, earbuds like, uh, because my voice like, is coming out like of we someone as we well i know i hear i hear the feedback yeah yeah, yeah. so she's a witch. No. No, it's not also, a tip when you spawn into a space, no, immediately move out much. of that space. No. Out of the spot that no. you spawned into. I mean, some because they 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 people they start they piling they up they on they you. So when, that's around wherever you go in the world. While Athena is on her way back, does anybody else have questions? Mm -hmm. <laughs> About... I have a question. Yeah, what would you like? Yeah. Um, why? Why is all the time? Why are all the time zones just in AM and PM? Like, if you live in anywhere in, in the world, like for the events, has anyone noticed that? That's because Burning Man started in San Francisco, yeah. and participating in this talk, you're participating by relaying information back to me. You're participating by listening. Listening is a form of participation. You're participating by going to the Mayan warrior and dancing. Dancing is a form of participation. Communal effort is a form of participation. Participation is very important. So the definition, oh, you know, this is so hard for me to read. Hold on. I have not done this in a long time. Does somebody want to read participation for me? <clears throat> Oh, wow, that's really cool. close. 
<laughs> a community is committed to a radically awesome. participating ethic. We believe that transformative change, whether in individual or in society, can only occur through the medium of deeply personal participation. Snap to that one. Hell yeah. Uh, Hell yeah. We achieve, <laughs> being, we achieve being through doing. Everyone is excited. Everyone is, everyone's something to work. Everyone is invited to play. We make the world real through actions that open the heart. Woo -woo. All right, someone's at the next one. Awesome. Good job. Thank you for that. So that's participation. <laughs> And all the different ways that you can you can participate within this community. You can be the artist. You can be, you know, the very first time I went to Burning Man, I participated by being what they call a fluffer. Um, uh, a fl I know, right? It's kind of funny. But in the art community, a fluffer is someone that is part of art services. And arts apart services, which is also called ass, the arts apart services department, they just... <laughs> support the artist in whatever they need and that could be food and water and so for me when i got involved in burning man the very first five minutes on the playa i got to raise the man actually with ropes like egyptians and slaves raising the man but because i'm only about a hundred pounds i i didn't have enough weight to be on the ropes and they took me off and i felt bad because i wasn't contributing but then i realized everybody on the ropes couldn't leave so I had to, um, uh, you know, bring them food and bring them water and get the sweat off their brow and, and help them in, in other ways, put on sunblock, because we were out there for about three hours raising the man. So that is a form of participation and also my civic responsibility and being part of communal effort. Now, gifting, gifting is tied to decommodification. Because in order to give a gift, you have to completely decommodify it. And then it is purely a gift. You give it because you don't need anything else in return. And we have these things called playa gifts. They are things that you give people at Burning Man for the sake of just saying, hey, I want to give this to you. <laughs> Lots of times it's a form of thank you. So does somebody want to read gifting for me? I can read it. Awesome, thank you. Okay, um, gifting. Burning Man is devoted to act of gift giving. The value of a gift is unconditional. Gifting does not contemplate a return or an exchange for something of equal value. Thank you. So can you guys see how easy it is to give a gift and have some some sort of commodification attached to it that you just give give mm -hmm. freely of yourself you know when you think of the crew that is building brcvr and all the artists and all the theme camps and sound camps and djs and performers and it just goes on and on and on and on they're all gifting all of their art to you this week that we call burn week and that is a gift Athena. So oh, now I'm going to keep going. Maxwell so had we... a question. Athena. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, it's so hard on the 2D. Oh. Yes. Uh, well, I just wanted to bring something up. Uh, the, these points of gifting and decommodification, they remind me a lot of uh, David Graeber's uh, ideas. And um, David Graeber is an academic and activist who passed away um, earlier today due to COVID-19, uh, age 59. Oh, oh. And oh, hey, uh, sorry, Mr. Uh, somebody... Doug, Doug, uh, if you can Doug. turn your uh, headphones on. Oh, he's Doug's leaving. Okay. And, okay. <laughs> Go Thanks. ahead. He died today. Uh, yeah, yeah. And um, one of his major contributions uh, was this idea of going against the dominant uh, story, the dominant narrative about uh, debt and bartering um, in his book, uh, Debt, The First 5,000 Years. People think that people are like our ancestors, they first bartered and then they came up with money, currency systems, and then modern man invented credit and credit cards and borrowing. And that's kind of the story that we're taught in history. That's At least that's what I learned in school. And um, David Graeber went into Graeber the history, went into the history uh, and anthropology, uh, and anthropology, anthropology by, by trade. trade. And, and he found out that um, 
credit was actually the earliest form of uh, exchange, oh. and then came currency. And bartering is actually the last to come up. Bartering only happens when you don't have a relationship that you can build with someone. Bartering only happened in the ancient world when two tribes like met in the desert and like passed each other. But bartering mm -hmm. in the modern world happens when currency systems uh, are what people are used to, and then they die out. So, so, for example, in prison, people are used to having currency, but then they don't have um, you know, access to U.S. dollars anymore, let's say. So they start dealing and bartering or start using so, cigarettes. Cigarettes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so the, the earliest form of exchange was through freely giving was through mm. you know we, we, we call it credit and um What's up, Bella? this is a way of it's debt is a promise it's, it's something that you say okay i'm giving you something and mm. um i'm giving you a reason to relate to me you know you, you give to your neighbor you give to people that you up, want to um you know you're 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 you're, you're creating something by giving and it's a debt that uh <laughs> it's kind of like it's, i feel like I'm, I'm going on too much but uh <laughs> you pay off your debt to your parents by becoming a parent and oh. um so there are a lot of ways that we can um, it's very interesting. Think, think about the yeah. yeah. What was the mm -hmm. yeah. name again? I didn't catch it the first time. I'm sorry. David Graeber. David yeah, so, Graeber. Yeah, I'm gonna so, look him up. That's really interesting. Yeah, yeah, and and these principles really reminded me of that. So I just wanted to honor him and connect well, it to, to these principles. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I just wrote it down. Thank you. Okay. Thank you I wanted that. to add something. Thank you I wanted so to add something. Well, I, I need. Okay, I only have eight minutes left. Okay, I, I just wanted to add that two. very quickly that the gifting at Burning Man is as much as my experience as it is a physical thing. If you're giving something that's a physical thing, let there be an experience with it. Because that's what. Yeah, like you can give care. a that's hug. What they will carry you can with give them. a song. You can give like yeah. a lot of the bars at Burning Man in order to get Smile. a drink, although this is technically barter, but you dance or you give a song or you say a poem <laughs> and then they give you a drink. Just technically barter, but they call it gifting. Just don't give a sticker and run away. That's lame. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Immediacy. Immediacy just means that you're meeting the immediate need at the time. So does somebody want to read the immediacy poster? Because on a PC, it's really hard for me to read these. Uh, sure. Uh, all right, go for it. Uh, 82 dude, is that you? No, it was me. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, go ahead and walk up there and read it for me. Immediacy. Uh, immediate experience is in many, in many ways the most important touchstone of value in our culture we seek to overcome barriers that's that stand between us and a record recognition of our inner selves the reality of those around us participation in society and contact with a natural world exceeding human powers no idea can substitute for this experience, but seriously, what the fuck is immediacy? <laughs> <laughs> well, immediately we lost the peanut. There I am. Part of <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay. She Sorry. took a portal. She I'm portaled coming. somewhere immediately. <laughs> She's back. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. I have a touch screen. And I went to wipe this bug off my screen, and I was like, shit, where did I go? Oh, my God. She went to d so, so Yeah, I went to d -Lot. So just, just to know that if you have a touch screen and you are in alt space, that is how you teleport. <laughs> it's just, oh, it's just, nice. Yo, yeah, nice to know. You can teleport with a touch screen. Um, so immediacy <laughs> is meeting the immediate need. 
So Burners Without Borders started in 2005 after Hurricane Katrina wiped out the, the Louisiana-Mississippi coastline while we were all at Burning Man. So there were all these burners from that area that were at Burning Man, and there was this immediate need that something needed to happen to help the people of that area, and they just reacted. Burners packed up their domes and their tents and put them in a truck, and instead of driving home, they drove down there to, to provide support, and that was the beginning of Burners Without Borders to fulfill that immediate need, and now they're thriving. Uh, so VRCVR is also fulfilling an immediate need. Now, we started this process in 2014. That is the beginning of BRCVR when Greg Edwards first built it based on the 2014 burn. But, uh, and we showed it to Burning Man in 2015, and I was a producer on it then, and they loved it, but they didn't see the immediate need. It was a cool piece of technology. Now, fast forward to 2020, and we can't... We have to physically distance, and somebody thought it was a good idea to call it social distancing, which I think is a horrible thing, and all of you need to stop calling it social distancing. We are physically <laughs> distancing. Physical yeah. distance, yeah. Yeah. but socialize. We are social creatures. It is great for, it is bad for our mental health to socially distance. We need to physically distance. So the immediate need of being physically distanced, but socializing made this platform poignant. It made it important. It gave it an immediate need and that is fulfilling the success of this project. So that is immediacy. So I'm a, I'm a little bit, uh, I got two minutes left so I'm going to cover um, radical self-expression. So um, uh, does somebody want to read radical self-expression for me? All right, immediacy, I'll take it. Uh, radical self-expression arises from the unique gifts of the individual. No one other than the individual or collaborating group can determine its content. It is offered as a gift to others. It, in this spirit, the giver should respect the rights and liberties of the recipient and have a fucking great burn. That's what that says. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly. Yeah, it's true. Radically self-expressed. Yeah. Nice. So we tried really hard <laughs> with Altspace to get these avatars as creative as possible within the confines of the ESRB, which I talked about at the beginning with civic responsibilities. We have to be civically responsible while we radically self-express. So T for teen means we can't have naked avatars running around. <laughs> Believe me, we asked. <laughs> like it's pretty man. We have to have naked avatars. We have to do. Um, we have this thing called shirt cocking, which technically everyone is doing right now because we don't have any legs. <laughs> well, that's running around with a t-shirt on and nothing else. So there's these things that we do at Burning Man that we can't do here because we have to be. If Burning Man was rated T for Teen, it would be a completely different event. <laughs> but radically self-expressive, right? Radical self-expression means that you can be pink, you can be green, you can have orange hair, you can make yourself solid black from head to toe, you can make yourself solid white from head to toe. You can be whatever you be and you can create whatever you want. So this platform is amazing in radical self-expression because we're not governed by the laws of physics. Gravity is a law of physics and we are governed by it in the physical world. You know, things are on the ground, and we build up from that. But in BRCBR, we're not. There's an art piece. It's one of my favorites, and I actually think the artist is here. I think I saw his name, if he's still here. And it's Gnosis. Gnosis is an amazing art piece. And it's just these, and it's simple. And it's these three massive figures floating in the air with um, a, like a, a spoken word description of what Gnosis is. I, that just, it just, the whole thing of it cannot exist in the physical plane, but it exists in the virtual plane and it's simple and beautiful and powerful and I get chills every time I go in there and I highly recommend you guys check it out. So we have art that can't exist in the physical plane and it allows artists to be even more radically self-expressive because they're not governed by the laws of physics. Radical self-expression also because you're adding all, like all the principles flow in together 
And radical self-expression, you you can't like tag uh, somebody else's art. Even though you're radically expressing yourself, you're not doing it within alignment with the other principles. So all 10 principles come together to form this container that we can all exist within together and be the best possible humane beings that we can be. And those are the 10 principles of Burning Man and, uh, and how you can apply them to your life in the physical world and in the VR world. Uh, and if anybody has any questions, just you know, raise your hand and I'll, I'll call on you and you can ask. And, and it is uh, two minutes after, so if you need to pop out, I completely understand we're, we're going over a little bit. I don't know what happens event-wise, um, but, uh, but we'll, we'll just, I'll just keep going and answer your questions. Oh, it already ended and it's not closing anything. We can keep going. Okay. I do have a, um, uh, I think I have another event I need to go to. <laughs> Hold on, let me check my calendar. Uh, what, what about the 11th of consent? There is digital consent. Oh. So there's, oh, this is, I have an interview I need to go to actually. There's two 11th principles. So consent <laughs> was added by the burners of the Pacific Northwest and um, gratitude was added by the burners of, I mean, not the Pacific Northwest. The I like it. consent was added by the burners of the um, Midwest and gratitude was added by the burners of the West Coast. So Los Angeles, San Diego, Santa Barbara. LA. LA, no. um, they added hey. gratitude as the 11th principle. LA in the house. And uh, New York also added gratitude. Florida added gratitude. Consent, Northern Florida, um, the Great Lakes area, uh, into Texas, they've all added consent as their 11th principle. The 11th principle is the one you need in your life. It is your immediate principle. And so the 11th principle can be added by a community, but it can be added by you personally. I'm going to take one more question, and then I'm going to have to sign off because I have an interview that I have to go to. Anybody else? Yes. Uh, retro. What is your question? Not a question, but I think a statement. I think that uh, each, one, each one is the 11th principle of Africa Burn. Oh, yeah. Which, what is? Each one, each one. Oh, each one teach one. I like that. Oh, nice. That's good. Yeah. Each one teach one. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting pinged right now, so I gotta go. So thank you, everybody. Thank, everybody. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all your service. Thank you. Thank you. I'm doing this again tomorrow at one o'clock at ID8. So 1 o'clock Pacific oh, time nice. tomorrow at ID8, I will be doing the same talk and going over the principles. So if you have questions, please come back, and I will see you guys later. Thank nice. you. Nice. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. If anybody, wants, uh, if anybody wants to check out the uh, actual uh, Marshmallow Camp, um, which has also other stuff in it, I'm going to open the portal and you're all gonna Yay. welcome to join and then other people can join us um i'm by the way i'm marshmallow who uh